Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Monday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is June the 13th, 2016. It was on this day in 1967 when a 3.9 struck New York. At Attica, plaster fell, chimneys cracked, and fluorescent light fixtures were damaged. 18 miles north of Attica, a lone ceiling tile fell in a church. This shock was felt over a small area of western New York. Today is known as Sewing Machine Day. Hmm. Also on this day in 1912, Albert Berry made the first parachute jump from an airplane and a ticker tape parade welcomed aviator Charles Lindbergh home from his historic flight across the Atlantic. The year was 1927. All right, earthquake report time. Here we go. As of 6.34 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in 248 earthquakes. This brings our weekly total to 801 and our monthly total to a staggering 4,437. For historical reference, a year ago today, we clocked in 228 earthquakes. The strongest to strike the planet then was a magnitude 5.5 that struck the Fiji Islands. We have experienced four magnitude 5.0 or greater earthquakes today. Japan accounted for two, these being a 5.7 and a 5.3. We follow that up with a 5.2 care of the East Pacific rise and a 5.0 that hit the Western Indian Antarctic Ridge. We have clocked in 11 magnitude 4 earthquakes. West Yellowstone was struck with a fairly strong 4.3. The funny thing is, nearly no one felt it. There were exceptions though. One employee at Henry's Lake State Park in Idaho reported that they awoke thinking that a bear was shaking their cabin. That's pretty awesome. Anyways, 57 years ago, this area was hit by a 7.3 that caused a landslide that killed 28 people and generated more than $88 million in damage. El Salvador experienced two, a 4.5 and a 4.4, and Nicaragua clocked in a 4.7. Heading across the Pacific, we see that Japan also experienced a 4.7 and a 4.4. The Philippines clocked in a 4.5. Indonesia with a 4.5 as well. Fiji was hit with a 4.7. And the Solomon Islands experienced a 4.8. The remaining earthquakes struck various locations here in the United States. We see that Hawaii has registered four thus far, all of which originated from the volcano. The strongest to hit was a 2.5. Alaska has experienced 24. The strongest registered was a 3.4 in Cheeknik Lake. Washington has experienced 3, all of which struck Morton, and all were minor. The most intense to be registered was only a 1.5. Oregon has logged in 4. The strongest to hit was a 3.2 in Gold Beach. The remaining hit Lakeview. Speaking of Oregon, a 4.6 struck just off the coast in Bandon yesterday. Interesting. California has experienced 144 earthquakes thus far. The most intense to strike today was a 2.7 in Brawley. Notable earthquake swarms are currently being witnessed in Anza, which has clocked in 15, and La Quinta, who has experienced 14. Before moving on, we have to discuss the events that took place Friday, June the 10th, 2016. I'll be honest with you, I have never seen anything like the swarm activity that took place in California on that day. Let me provide you with some staggering statistics. We experienced an astonishing 888 earthquakes Friday, 84% of which hit California alone. That breaks down to 750 earthquakes from just the Sunshine State alone. 422 of these quakes struck Anza, 88 originated from La Quinta, 155 had an epicenter in or around Borrego Springs. Speaking of which, this area experienced a 5.1 Friday as well. Following the seismic event, we continue to see increased activity in California. Saturday, June the 11th, we clocked in 334. And yesterday, Sunday, June the 12th, we clocked in 207. As you can tell, we are seeing a steady decline, but the swarm activity continues, at least for now. With that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts on what may be taking place and what you believe was a catalyst for these earthquakes. Nevada has experienced 29 today. The strongest to strike the Sagebrush State was a 2.8 in Eureka. Utah has seen two, these being a 1.8 in Hooper and a 1.7 in Hanksville. 
Montana has registered 12. Along with the previously mentioned 4.3, we also experienced a 2.3 and a series of minor quakes in the West Yellowstone area. Interesting. Oklahoma has clocked in two. These were a 3.2 in Fairview and a 2.5 in Perry. The New Madrid Seismic Fault has not experienced movement today. By the way, hi Anne, hope you're doing great. Along the eastern limb of the North American Craton, we have experienced movement, this being a 1.3 that struck North Stamford, Connecticut. Finally, our pals to the north experienced an earthquake today as well. This was a 2.3 in Princeton, Canada. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Guys, stay safe. Have a great night. Hoorah!